Hi everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. Before the video starts, I'd like to tell you guys I have a new channel out about my own life, stuff I do in my, my spare time besides talking about fragrances, which I love a lot. My channel is called Chris Cretus, my first and last name. And we, on that channel, we talk about tech reviews, first impressions, um, like Apple AirPods and video games for PlayStation 5 and Xbox. And we do lifestyle videos and daily vlogs, kind of fun stuff to do. So if you want to see what I do outside of fragrances, definitely click on that link down below and subscribe to the channel. So you'll miss a single cool video about my life outside of fragrances. If you guys are interested, up to you. Today we're talking about a new release from the house of Givenchy. They have so many fragrances on the market. I lost count. A lot of them smell amazing. Some perform good, some don't. Nevertheless, this is the new Givenchy. This is the gentleman one from the gentleman line. And this is some mouthful, so keep that in mind. This is gentleman Givenchy. And this is Reserve Privé Eau de Parfum. That's a mouthful. It's like a whole sentence and a half. So in this video here, I'm going to break down my performance in the fragrance. I'm going to let you know how I feel about it. And if you should try it out or buy it, or it reminds me of another fragrance on the market, or two fragrances on the market right now. Let's talk about note breakdown. So no breakdown we have is uh, bergamot, iris, chestnut, whiskey, amber, and woody notes. So there are different note breakdowns on Ferantica and different note breakdowns on Givenchy website. So there's other notes like vetiver that's in this fragrance as well. And there are notes as patchouli in this fragrance as well. So all the notes are very different. So keep that in mind. Smell it on your skin and see what you pick up and see what you like or you don't like. Sprayers are amazing. Look at the sprayer. Amazing sprayer, guys. Okay. This fragrance opens up. You get a little bit of freshness for the first five to 10 seconds. Then it dissipates, it disappears. The iris in the fragrance. The iris gives it that powdery feel, lipstick feel in the fragrance. So you might say, well, it smells a little bit like a female fragrance with that powdery iris feel. Keep that in mind. Every guy is not gonna like these type of iris fragrances. It's for somebody maybe more mature that has more of a, a uh, understanding of fragrances and enjoy fragrances what they are suggests a newbie to walk into the fragrance game and want to buy this fragrance here unless you're daring you want to try new stuff out and you're tired of the freshies like blue de chanel dior Sauvage, versace doing blue on the market then you might like this fragrance at the end of the day the middle of the fragrance the iris is there you definitely get that chestnut feel some people ask me do i get that uh mason margella um fragrance um by the fireplace and i get that vibe in the fragrance so if you like that fragrance you're gonna like this fragrance here it's not 100 percent, so keep that in mind it's not going to be a clone of it but you get that chest nutty feel in the fragrance darker type of fragrance this is something i wouldn't want to wear in the warmer months maybe more towards the cooler months like fall and winter time the dry down of this fragrance here you definitely pick up um, the woodiness in this fragrance as well as the whiskey and the boozy feel on my skin now some people say you don't get the booziness with some people's skin chemistry is different keep that in mind but for me i love the mid and the dry i get that chestnut that booziness in the fragrance a dark fragrance I enjoy wearing this one a lot guys i really do and i'm happy i bought me a 60 ml bottle because i have too many fragrances to probably even go through this bottle just to say i have probably over 100 fragrances more than that probably in my fragrance collection i just stopped counting let's talk about performance so projection keep that in mind i'm going off of my skin i can't go off anybody else but my own skin so keep that in mind moving forward in this video. Get about an hour or so on my skin. It's a simple around me, so it doesn't reach out far. It's more of a half an arm's length. So when people walk by me, they can smell me, but this doesn't radiate a whole arm length off my skin. This is something close encounters. People will smell off my skin. Longevity, you're looking at a good seven to eight hours. Me personally, I get eight hours. I have no complaints. And it gets me through a whole normal day of running errands, uh, doing stuff outside, indoors, whatever. I can still detect a fragrance on my skin, but it is closer to the skin, but I can still smell the fragrance, which is good. So you're gonna get through a whole work day. If you work a regular job, you're good to go, or just running errands. You don't have to reapply the fragrance unless you wanna refresh and smell the fragrance a little bit louder off of your skin. Season occasion. So for me personally, I feel like this is more of a three season fragrance. I'm thinking early spring, fall and winter time i don't think it's appropriate to wear in the summertime the poweriness the iris i don't think it's appropriate but wear it whenever you want you're buying a fragrance depending on your climate where you live at if you live in a colder climate wear it all year round perfect signature scent it's not too loud 
so you'll be good to go. Occasion, you can wear it to work if you want to. It's not too loud on my skin. Definitely test it before you overspray this fragrance at work because you might get caught in the office. So if you work in a warehouse, you should be good to go. You work in a cubicle office with a bunch of people, you might want to tone your sprays down. It might offend people, but you can wear this as a date night fragrance as well. Only time I wouldn't wear this fragrance is probably to the gym or maybe to maybe um, to somebody that's really not in the fragrances that just don't like fragrance. I wouldn't wear it around them, but anywhere else, you should be good to rock this fragrance in normal temperatures. Nothing over, I would say, 65 degrees, you should be good rocking this fragrance here. Ratings and final thoughts. So for me personally, I feel like this fragrance is great. I'm gonna easy give this fragrance um, an eight out of 10. I'm not gonna give it a perfect 10 because there are some things about that I'm gonna to touch on in a moment, but it smells great, performance is great, price is good for 86 bucks for a 60 ml bottle. We really had no complaints. Here we go with my final thoughts. So me personally, this does have reminiscence of fragrances like Valentino Umo Intense. It has reminiscence of fragrances like Dior Ohm Intense. This does have um, a feel of Mason Margiela by the fireplace with the chestnut in it. They're not 100% those fragrances like this, but it has that vibe to it. If you have those fragrances, it might be redundant to own this, unless you like that little bit of whiskey in it, but the whiskey is, is a light whiskey. It's not a heavy whiskey. It's not a beast mode whiskey. So if you're looking for a beast mode whiskey, this isn't a fragrance. I hope they make a intense version or maybe a parfum version in the future. We don't know, but if they make an intense version, this will probably be a 10 out of 10 fragrance. But right now, it's nice. It does this job, but if you have your three fragrances, you might be redundant to buy this, but I enjoy having it, and I have Dior Homme Intense and Valentino Homme Intense, and I like all of them, including this one, and Kelly likes this one as well. They come in 100 mil as well. This comes in 100 mil for 106 dollars for a 3.3 100 mil bottle, and this is a 60 mil, it's gonna run you 86. I bought mine at Bloomingdale's, first time buying a fragrance at Bloomingdale's, it was $91.16 with 8% sales tax in Philadelphia. If you try Givenchy Gentleman, this is Reserve Privé or the Parfum, let me in the comment section, do you like it? Do you love it or you hate it? What's your favorite Givenchy Gentleman fragrance? There's so many, leave your comments down below. Thank you for watching another fragrance video. If you like this type of content, make sure you show your support, like in the video, click that red subscribe button, and um, click the bell icon to know about our future videos and get with us well. I'll see you guys next video. Be safe in the world. Peace.